Today, I was compelled to sit down and write this letter, not to anyone in particular, maybe even just for myself. But as a black female executive at the Trump Organization, I can no longer remain silent about the repeated and reprehensible attempts to align my boss and his family with racist hate-mongering groups, campaigns, and messaging. As the daughter of a man born in Birmingham, Alabama, who rose against all odds to become one of the most established and respected doctors at Yale University, there is no amount of money in the world that could buy my loyalty to a family that subscribed to such intolerant and bigoted ideologies. The Trump family that I know is, without question, one of the most generous, compassionate, and philanthropic families I've ever had the privilege of knowing and the honor to call friends. They have been incredibly loyal to me and to the countless dedicated people they employ around the world, hiring more minority and female executives than any other company for which I've ever worked. To equate racism with my boss's call for a temporary moratorium on a flawed immigration system that radical Islamic terrorists continue to exploit, or the construction of an impassable wall to protect our borders from the influx of illegal drugs is not only incendiary, it's wholly irresponsible and only serves to embolden the very hatred these draconian groups espouse. What common sense American wants another terrorist attack on our soil or to perpetuate this country's rampant drug epidemic? But to compare my boss to Adolf Hitler, simply to spin your own political agenda or social media punchline, is a personal affront to the extermination of over six million Jews and trivializes one of the worst acts of human genocide this world has ever seen. Rest assured, I am a highly intelligent, free-thinking, and independent woman. My opinions and decisions are based solely in fact, not fiction, speculation, assumption, or hearsay. I do not vote based upon the color of my skin, nor the signature on my paycheck. I judge my friends and forge my allegiances from direct personal interaction and moral character. That said, there is no higher barometer by which to measure oneself than the one continually set by this family and their spouses, and I should know. Like many Americans, I have struggled with substance abuse and addiction. The Trump family has stood by me through immensely difficult times without hesitation or concern for their own reputation by association. They continue to trust me with every aspect of their lives and the lives of their families. They invite me into their homes and welcome me at their family gatherings. For the past six years, I have held an executive position as it pertains to the distribution of their charitable funds, and they have charged me to identify worthy and altruistic missions. I could not be more humbled. This is the Trump family that I know. Only up until now, it's all just been opposing campaign rhetoric and paid protesters. But then, a letter came. And I thought to myself, who does this person think he is to threaten to kill somebody else's family? Any family. This family. My family. All because of a political race? A campaign? But then I realized that this isn't just a race to Mr. Trump. This isn't just a race to his family, nor to our veterans or the unemployed. And because of that, this family is willing to risk their own lives each and every day for the greater good of this country. But I would be lying if I said I didn't fear for them now. There is a movement sweeping this brave nation, and I am honored to have a front row seat to it on a daily basis. This country has spoken. My boss has justly earned the Republican nomination and broken voter registration records in countless states across America. This cannot be denied. He has brought this party together by drawing more Democrats, more independents, and more first-time voters into the GOP fold and has earned more Republican votes than any other presidential candidate in modern history. That must be respected. To the skeptics who will undoubtedly claim that I'm doing this at the behest of the Trump family, or with the promise of reward, I deliberately chose not to seek their approval nor counsel in advance of this video for fear that they would be more concerned for me and its potential viral ramifications than they would be for themselves and the fact that quite simply, this is the right thing to do. For me, it was an easy decision, just as voting for my boss, Donald J. Trump, should be an easy decision for you. God bless this family, God bless the voters, and God bless the United States of America.